So when I was a little kid growing up in church, we used to sing a song and I never could really understand why we sang it. Maybe you got a song like that too, but when we was in children's church, we would sing, there was a wise old king. And it goes something like this, it, it would go, there was a wise old king, he had 10,000 men, he marched them up the hill, and then he marched them down again. Now, when you're and we, up, you're up, and when you're down, you're down. When you're only halfway up, your knees are up or down. So that's the song. And it's crazy because we go up and down, up and down, up and down. Jesus said this. He said, hey, I would that you were hot or cold. He said, figure out what side of the fence you're going to get on. Because when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. But I want to tell you something. Here's what's interesting about this. In the culture we live in, everybody wants to put their faith in government, <clears throat> in the scientists, in the doctors. Oh, we need a bailout. Oh, this is the president's fault. This is the Republicans' fault. This is the Democrats' fault. Everybody wants to blame everybody. But let me tell you something. God has the solution to every problem that we have. And I believe that God's heart is grieved today. Because everybody's looking to man for the solution. It made me cry. But God has all the answers. And we can look all over our world and we can see all kinds of problems. No matter who comes up with what solutions, God gave them the wisdom to get those solutions. No matter what surgery you've had, God's the one that healed you. God gave the doctors wisdom for that. Let's, let's let God be God again. In the last days, the Bible says that men will be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. That they'll put their faith in, in man more than they'll put their faith in God. Today. Today is a day for you to decide which side of the fence you're going to be on. Are you going to serve God and trust Him and just let Him be God? Or are you going to let the government be your God? Are you going to let your, your bank account? That's going down too. Where are we going to put our faith? Let me, let me just say, God is all powerful. It says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Let God get a hold of your love because he is love. He'll teach you how to love yourself. There's so many people in our world today, they're so angry at themselves that they can't see up and that's part of what makes them sick. God has a solution. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love your neighbor as himself. There was a wise old king. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up the hill. He marched them down. If you're tired of going up and down, or let me tell you something, here's where a lot of Americans are. They're just sitting on the fence. They're not sure. One day they're over here, and another day they're over there. Make up your mind. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these other things will be added to you. Don't, don't dwell on the wrong side of the fence because these are the last days. The Bible says that a thousand years is as one day with God. A lot of people are saying, well, why has God delayed his coming back? Because a thousand years is as a day. It's just been a couple of days since he's been gone. He's going to come back. But he said, be ready. I talked to you about that last week. But I also want you to hear this. Love never fails. God's love for you will never fail. And you make up your mind, who are you going to put your faith in? We had a sermon, a message this past week. I talked about the three different parts of a human being. You have the spirit man, you have the, the soul man, and you have the flesh man or the body. And a lot of people are letting their body dictate to the spirit of God what the spirit is going to do because there's things in our lives we say, oh, I'm going to, God, I'm going to give you every part of my life, but this one sin that I enjoy so much, don't you touch that. So God is either God and Lord of all, or he is not God and he's not Lord at all. Let him be the king of your life and humble yourself to the point where you not only get on the right side of the fence, but you actually Kneel down to the king and let him be your God. Let him be your savior. Let him be your king. Nothing else really matters in the long run. Listen, whether you lose your bank account or whether you, you can't lose everything because really the most valuable thing you have 
is your relationship with God because that's the eternal relationship. Where are you making your investments? Make them in the things for eternity. Those are the things that last forever. Mm -hmm.